Welcome back to another Excel demo with Rich Kerr. In this scenario, we're going to take a look at using the Select uh, Visible Cells keyboard shortcut and how valuable that can be when working with subtotal data. So in this scenario, I've got a list of data uh, with uh, repeating instances of locations and analysts. And so to kind of recap on how the subtotal function works to prepare for this, we'll, we'll run through that quickly. If I wanted to know the total for each location, London, Paris, etc., my first step is to sort by the location column. So I'll right-click one of the entries in column B. It doesn't matter where exactly. I'll choose sort, sort A to Z. So now all the Barcelona data is uh, at the top. And if I were to keep scrolling down, I'd eventually see Beijing, Berlin, Gary, Hong Kong, etc. Okay, <clears throat> so that's the first step in preparing for the subtotal. Uh, on the right side of the data tab of your ribbon, you have the subtotal icon. I'll go ahead and click that. And in the subtotal window, I want to indicate that I wish to create subtotals at each change in location. Uh, so when it switches from Barcelona to Beijing, I want to subtotal the Barcelona data and then so on and so forth through the rest of the list. And when you first launch this, you may notice if you have a data set similar to this, the first column in your data set is what's listed here or selected as a default where it says at each change in. So you've got to switch that, right? If it's not on the column that you want to group by, you need to switch that. So in this case, we need to make sure it's on location. Okay, so at each change in location, it will sum the amount column. I'll click OK. It actually works pretty quickly. If I were to scroll through, initially, it might seem like nothing's happened, but eventually you'll see the point at which the list changes uh, from Barcelona to Beijing. And uh, that's the point at which you get a subtotal for Barcelona. And it'll do that throughout the list. Now, if you have a huge list with thousands of rows, you probably don't want to spend a lot of time scrolling through. So this outline tool on the left-hand side lets you collapse the subtotal data down to just the subtotal rows, uh, including the grand total. So if I click the number two button, we're seeing just the, uh, just the subtotals, which is great. And we have a grand total at the bottom. The challenge kicks in if I want to sort of copy and paste that data. So if I wanted to select, uh, say, you know, B1 through D, 50,012, that's how many rows I have, the problem with selecting the data like this and copying it is you've also copied all the hidden rows that are currently hidden because of the fact that you've gone down to level two. So if I go to another sheet where I wanted to paste these results, I've actually pasted all 50,000 rows. And so I don't have just the subtotal rows. So that's the problem we're going to address. So back here where I've got just my subtotal rows, once I've selected the data in question, I'm going to use the Alt key and the semicolon together. So that's next to the letter L. So if I press Alt and semicolon together, uh, then I'm only selecting the visible cells. Okay, So that's the select visible cells. And if you're looking closely, you can almost tell that the selection um, starts and stops every row. So it's not selecting the ones that are hidden, but just the ones that are visible. So now if I copy this data, maybe I'll do a control C to copy. You can even tell uh, more clearly now where the selection and copy has taken place as you see the dancing ants around every row, not around the entire uh, selected range. So it's not including those hidden rows. Uh, we'll now go to another sheet where we want to paste that data. Remember, if you just copied something in Excel, enter is the same as paste. So when I paste it, I now have um, you know, just the, uh, just the subtotal rows. <clears throat> now, let's say I didn't want the word total at the end of every word. Now, since this is a summary, I just wanted to say Barcelona, Beijing, etc. So I'm going to select this range of cells from uh, A2 to A11. Another keyboard shortcut is uh, control, a, uh, control H. So Control H will launch the Find and Replace window. So I can say Find Space Total. Now I'm actually trying to find the space as well because I want to get rid of the space and the word total after each city. And I'll replace it with nothing. So I, I'm not going to type anything in the Replace With. I click Replace All. And because I had selected A2 through A11, it didn't affect the grand total uh, in A12. That's it. That's using the Select Visible Cells keyboard shortcut 
to copy and then paste only the visible cells in a summarized uh, subtotal data set. I hope you like this. Uh, come back soon and check us out for more videos with Rich Kerr. Peace.